I've had the opportunity to work with both the alpha and beta phase of CEREC 4.0. It's been an interesting ride. It's been fascinating as well. I want to convey the important transition mindset that I had to go through. You will see that when you open the CEREC software, there's a different look, a different feel. I like the new feel. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Fortunately, they chose blue. Blue uh, makes me feel calm inside. The first screen you see is called the start screen. If you remember the toolbar in the prior versions of the software, we had the two top icons, and that is open a new case or load an existing case. That's what this start screen is. There are several new menu bars. Let's go through the names of those menu bars together. At the very top, when we take our cursor to the top of the page, or we see that icon to the upper left, that's called the systems menu. Within that menu, we have access to how we store our files and where we store our files, or whether we bring a file in or send one out. That's called exporting. To the right of that menu, you'll see some other fascinating features. Now my favorite is configuration. Within configuration, if you go to what we call parameters, you know Clem and his parameters thing, that's kind of like the way I sleep at night. I need good parameters in order to be at peace with myself because I know it makes my CEREC really consistent for me. The good news within the configurations of 4.0, the parameters are featured graphically to describe what each parameter does. For instance, let's look at spacer. By just moving that scale, you can see the impact of the spacer. Or maybe look at marginal thickness. Amazing. Shrona has done an excellent job in the way they've developed the graphic profile in the interface of CEREC 4.0. We used to call it the toolbar. That was the bar to the left. That, that was our guidance system within CEREC. We now have a new name. It's a new relative. It's called the phase bar. You'll notice the phase bar identifies the sequence of operating a software. You will see the administration thumbnail on the phase bar, the acquisition, the model, the design, and the mill. A fairly logical sequence, wouldn't you agree? And then at the bottom of the screen within each phase bar window is called the step menu. The step menu describes the features, the tasks, and other elements of each phase bar screen. When we view the desktop to the right, we see what we call the side panel. Within the model, the design, and mill phase bar screen, you'll see various icons, such as how do we orient the virtual die on the screen. That's been there for a long time. Now it's really smooth. We have other options. We have analyzing tools. We have display objects, various ways to turn various dies and various layers on to make sure they all mix together even when we're working on both arches. That's there. On the acquisition page, when you take your cursor down to the bottom of the page, it opens another layer. That's called the image catalog. That pretty much does it. In other words, there's not a lot to learn here, but it is a new culture. And what we want to do now is walk you through a case and use each phase bar screen to demonstrate how easy this software is, how efficient the software is, and how it's going to make your life, and it's already made my life, better. We'll talk about some of the philosophies of when we're doing multiple restorations, when do we mill? Hey, we have to think 
about time and sequencing. We're clinicians. I'm in the dental trenches just like you folks are. I operate a full-time practice. And when I'm in my practice, I'm moving. And I'm always thinking, how can I optimize the way I do my dentistry, particularly using CEREC, so we're done in a timely manner? There's a culture within 4.0. We're going to have that conversation before we're done with this video series. Mm -hmm.